Well, the emphasis on a strong passing attack has come to prominence in the sport of football, especially on the high school level through seven on seven passing only camps. So where does that leave run heavy schools in this week's sports spotlight? Fox 43's Evan Brooks takes a look at a Lancaster County High School's approach. Voluntary off-season workouts are all about improvement for last year's district champion, Cocalico Eagles. Their winning formula is running the ball. And if you don't believe me, just ask them. Last year was like 92%, something like that. Uh, it's definitely the basis of what we do. 90%. <laughs> well, I know one game we didn't pass the ball at all. We had over 500 rushing yards. Despite the heavy commitment to the run, the team still actively participates in passing only settings, like seven on seven. It's a different atmosphere, but one still necessary for success. Just being a pass threat, even if you don't do much, it, it, it opens the stuff up. The Eagles certainly know what they have in their strong offensive line. It's also a chance for players to prove they can soar through the air. We need them to make plays when, when their number's called, and you know, I think they enjoy practicing that. And Hopefully when the time comes on Friday nights, they're ready to go and make some big plays as well. While their spot in the Lank Lab League is secure, it may come as a surprise to other teams when the Eagles show up to air it out. Just because they, they know us as a run first team and they're like, oh, these, they don't think us a, that we can pass, but we can, we, we can pass. The champs fine tuning their offense and plan to become a complete threat when the season rolls around. Evan Brooks, Fox 43.